G'day guys, and today I'm going to do another lot of Cisco practice questions, and today we'll be doing a rad on a stick. It's going to be very quick, only two questions in this section, so strap yourselves in for a nice quick one. Uh, for our six, which of the following statements are true in order to get traffic to route between the two VLANs in the figure below? Select two. Uh, sorry if my mug's in the way here, guys, but um, so we've got a router here going at fast Ethernet zero, going to a switch through port 12. And then two and three are going to on um, accounting VLAN, and then uh, switch port ten is going to a um, marketing VLAN. By the looks of that, so what I'm going to do? Nothing. Uh, configure port twelve on switch one for trunk mode. Compo <laughs> configure uh, F zero zero on R one for trunk mode. Configure sub interfaces on switch one. Configure sub interfaces on router one. So the being the router on the stick, you first of all need to. It's obviously router one going into the switch on port twelve. So there has to be some kind of communication there in order to at least get this set up. So we've got to incorporate a bit of B. Uh, configure F zero twelve on switch one for trunk mode, and then it comes down to these two guys here. Configure the sub interface on switch one or router one. Being that it all generates from the router to create this VLAN, uh, we need to create sub interfaces on router one in order to get that all sorted. And also the reasoning for making it into trunk mode is we need sort of an intermediate to get the VLAN traffic across and between those two devices there, and I guess multiple devices. So those are the answers. And the last one, 307, you are configuring a router on a stick so the router will route traffic between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Similar to before, you configure the sub interfaces with the following commands. During testing, you notice that the router is not routing between the VLANs. What is missing? So we got the interface and the sub interface there, which looks right. Got the IP address, subnet mask, it looks fine. And then we got uh, point one, point 10 as the next interface, and that all looks fine there. So let's have a look at the uh, answers. You need to configure each sub interface as a trunk port. You need to configure a different subnet mask on each interface. You need to enable doc1q and specify the LAN, VLAN on each interface. You need to configure both interfaces for the same network ID. When creating sub interfaces in this instance, you need to ensure there is an encapsulation protocol. And we've got one protocol here. Dot one Q. So the answer here is C. You need to enable dot one Q and specify the VLAN on each interface. And that is that one. Need to specify encapsulation there. Thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Very quick video today. Got my website there, onlinecomputercoaching.com. Check it out if you want to see plenty of free video content and so forth. Um, don't forget to subscribe away, that'd be great as well, guys. And also private internet access of I use their VPN and uh, it's a really awesome service so I thought I'd uh, shout it out to you guys. I've got the link in the description if you can on that. 11 cents a day is pretty cheap so um, certainly very good with um, $40 a year. So can't beat that. Thanks for hanging around guys. I'll catch you all on the next video.